Hi, you're watching Beavis Canadian Jenny. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button and you can press the bell icon. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about some changes that are coming to Immigration Canada in 2023. And most important, how you can prepare yourself for these changes in 2023, how you can plan towards coming to Canada in 2023. Let's get started. I don't know about you but towards the end of every year I get really excited not just because it's Christmas you know you get to spend time with family you get to have some time off work but because I love to plan I love to make New Year's resolutions for the new year I love to plan ahead for the new year if you watch people's Canadian journey you know that I'm a planner so I've already started making my, all my you know New Year's resolutions for 2023 Half of them, I'm not going to stick to them, but I just get excited planning. And I guess Immigration Canada is like me because a number of provinces and even at the federal level, um, provinces have brought out their immigration plans and their immigration targets for 2023. And as I am reading these um, immigration plans for 2023, I'm getting excited because some of the changes and some of the plans are really going to favor a lot of people in 2023. And if this is you, you want to come to Canada and you want to start your journey, 2023 is the best time. Okay. Now, just sidebar. If you're new to everything Immigration Canada and you don't understand what I'm talking about, I'm talking about provinces and targets and you have no clue what I'm saying. Then you can send me a message on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at Viva's Canadian Journey. Just send a DM and say, hey Viva, I watched this episode. Can you please explain what you mean by this? What's that? I'm just about to start my immigration journey and we'll take it from there. Okay, so the changes coming in 2023. One of the major changes coming is going to be with the stream at the federal level so with the express entry stream okay and for the benefit of those that are new to all things canada let me explain the express entry stream briefly okay the express entry stream is one of the main ways international skilled workers can come to canada as permanent residents my family and I, we came via this stream. This stream is very, very popular. An advantage of this stream is that if you're successful, you can go to any province in Canada, of course, apart from Quebec. Unlike the provincial nomination stream, whereby, for example, if the province of Alberta nominates you for the first couple of years, you're gonna have to reside in the province of Alberta. Okay, so that's one of the many advantages of this stream. And the way the stream works is, it's a points-based stream. So there are some factors or criteria, and you get points for these factors, including your age, your years of work experience, your educational qualification, and of course, the language exams, be it the French or the English exam. And the people that are successful here are the people that have high scores. Now, one of the disadvantages of this stream is that people that are over the age of 35 okay find it hard to get really high scores here this is because for this stream okay you start losing points after the age of 30 so with each passing year after the age of 30 you lose five points i was talking to a lady the other day in the caribbean and she's like habiba anytime it's my birthday i'm not happy i said why she said because i lose five points in the express entry stream so that's how it works. Okay, now for 2023, this is going to change. And this is good news for a lot of people. So moving forward, what Immigration Canada is going to do is that instead of focusing on age, instead of age being a main determining factor, what Canada is gonna focus on right now is your background, your work experience. This is because there's loads, there's a lot of, you know, occupation in demand in Canada that are not being met. What happens 
with the express entry profile is that a lot of people get high scores and they come to Canada but these people don't have don't necessarily have the skill set okay they're not meeting the labor market needs in Canada so moving forward 2023 and beyond Immigration Canada is going to be intentional Immigration Canada is going to focus on people that have the skill set and the work experience that is needed in Canada so you can be in your 40s you can be in your 50s and you can be good candidates at the express entry uh, level if you have the skill set that is needed in Canada this is good news I was talking to a family yesterday where a husband and wife both in their 40s sitting in the express entry pool for over two years and we're discussing these new changes and they were really excited because I believe for 2023 they're going to be good candidates even though they're in their 40s this is because they have skill set in the health sector which is needed here in Canada now although Canada has not come out to say these are the sectors we're going to be concentrating on next year I can tell you that one of the main sectors is going to be in the healthcare sector so if you're a nurse you're a paramedic social care worker continuing care assistant then 2023 is the best time to look at moving to Canada also the IT sector the world is moving IT is in demand right now everywhere and in Canada in the child early childhood sector as well okay so some good news if you're in your 40s you're in your 50s do not despair 2023 be positive another main factor that's gonna determine if you're gonna be successful to come to Canada in 2023 okay is the language exams okay I was talking to a lady uh, the other day and she asked which um, exam I would recommend whether she take the French or the English exam and she's coming from an English speaking country and I said my recommendation would be take both but if you only want to do one you want to concentrate practice and take one my recommendation even though you're coming from an English speaking country your background is in English my recommendation is you prepare and take the French language exam this is because moving forward Immigration Canada wants to strengthen its French speaking population that's just the truth the minister has said that loads of provinces are looking to strengthen the French community the province of Quebec have come up with their plans for 2023 and more than ever they're going to focus on bilingual um, skilled workers or work skilled workers that are proficient in the French uh, language just a couple of weeks ago the province of Nova Scotia they had a labor market drop and they targeted people that have taken the French exam so if this is you you're thinking taking both exams both the French and English exams actually cost money and you want to concentrate on one my personal recommendation concentrate and take the French exam it will take some time to practice especially if that's not your background but it is very doable I've said this before and if you want to get started to learn French one platform I'm going to recommend is Skillshare a couple of months ago I made a video talking about the importance of learning French if you want to come to Canada and in that video I recommended a platform where you can go and learn French weeks after that video some people actually messaged me saying thank you for that video that it was really really helpful Skillshare is an online learning community for people who want to learn new skills including new languages so if you want to learn French I would recommend Skillshare a course that I found helpful because I started learning French and some people that I recommended that course to also took it and found it really really helpful is called French for Beginners the tutor that takes this course is called Chris Tane. he is amazing okay he teaches hundreds of students around the world he teaches them how to learn French so if you're just starting your French journey you want to take the French exams in a couple of months 
but you need like a beginner course, like an ABCs of learning French, then I recommend this class by Chris Tenay. One of the things that I love about the class is that at the end of the class, Chris Tenay provides students with a cheat sheet for the DELF A1 exam. The DELF A1 is an exam you can take, is a French exam you can take if you want to go to the province of Quebec, for instance. Okay, so highly recommend the course. And right now, the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description of this video will get a month free trial of Skillshare. So what are you waiting for? Click the link and start learning. It's never too late to start learning how to speak French or a new skill. And you can make 2023 your year to actually relocate to Canada. Until next time, keep watching Viva's Canadian journey and take care.